man, YouTube, what's going on, bro? Now, look, hold on. First thing first, bro. Apparently, America is messed up. And apparently, America is messed up to the rest of the world. And apparently, when Americans leave America, they realize, like, they wake up from a trend and they realize, like, oh, America is really messed up. So in this video, we're about to watch First Time You Realized America Really Messed You Up, Part 3, TikTok Edition. Now, look, first thing first, um, I got this recommendation from, you know what I'm saying, one of my New Zealand aunties, man, definitely. Shout out to, I'm not going to say her name. Cause I don't know if, you know what I'm saying, the New Zealand aunties, if they comfortable with me saying the name and whatnot, bro. That's why I'm glad, you know what I'm saying, I'm glad that, uh, that we tapped into people across the world, bro, because it sparks conversations like these, man, you know what I'm saying? I would have never even checked this video out. I didn't even know that this was a trend going on on TikTok. And this is from November of last year. Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on, man. I want to see what they about to say. Because I'm not going to lie, to me, America not really, I mean, I think it's the best place on earth, man. It's the place that you would want to be, like, you would want to be at. I don't think America is, like, messed. It's not messed. If anything, I think America builds character. Depending on, bro, if you grew up, if you go to a public school in America, you're going to, it's going to help you build character, bro. Especially if it's a lot of African Americans there. If you go somewhere, there's a lot of Africans, a lot of African Americans there. You're going to be for, especially if you black too, you're going to be forced to, like, get some type of swag about you or something, bruh. You're gonna be forced to like, to get better, I think so. Like, like it might be, let's see what's going on, bro. I wanna see what they about to say, man. I wanna see what they about to say, let's get it. <laughs> let's get currently it. living abroad, what is- Hold on, god damn, this shit loud. Let me see. Hold on real quick, bro. Cause apparently we living, or a lot of us are living, we're living, a lot of us Americans are living messed up and won't even know it. So let's see what they say. This one time that made you realize that America really messed you up. Oh my gosh, such a great question. I have so many. Uh, the one that sticks out in my mind right now is the first time I celebrated the 4th of July and the Kiwis were like, oh, happy 4th of July. And I'm like, yeah, suckas. We broke away from the queen a long time ago and we have freedom and blah, blah, blah. And they were like, hold on. Oh, okay, that's another thing too. I really want to hear anybody say about this because... I've been hearing, I don't like these headphones, but I've been hearing that we don't have any freedom, man. That's another thing that I've been hearing a lot from people overseas. And I watched a comedian talk about this. They were saying how Americans think they got freedom and we really don't have freedom. Man, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me hear something, bro. Let me, let me see what's going on, man. I want to use my beats, man. I don't like the, I don't like those headphones. Those, those headphones, they look real childish, man. They look real immature and nasty. You know what I'm saying? We about, to, we about to rock with these, man. Look at these. Crusty, beat up, tough. Let's get it. What freedoms don't we have? And why is it bad that other countries work together to protect each other and help each other? And America's always talking about freedom and what freedoms do you have that we don't have? And I was like, hold up. Freedom All of speech. this rhetoric that I was told my whole life, the land of the free, we need to fight for our freedom, and it's such a value in the American society. And when you think about how many countries are just as free, where does this freedom value come from? All right, tell me how it and is free as us. from the Revolutionary War, but hello, there's a lot of countries that are free. It was eye-opening. American currently living abroad. What is what? She didn't say nothing. That didn't that didn't wake me up. She didn't say nothing. One time that like I understand she's saying that other places is free, but she's not telling me how we are. Like realize that America really. She didn't say up. nothing. Did y'all know that in other countries, they can go to the pharmacy and actually get what they need? I live in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, right now, and I went to the pharmacist and I was like, "Hi, um, I, I think I gotta have like a UTI, like." Do you have any pain medicine, any cranberry? And she's like, why don't I just give you antibiotic? And I was like, then I Bro, go It's so crazy to me how small things like this, I know like whenever I go overseas, these is gonna be such big, like drastic, crazy news to me. Cause it's gonna be little things that I would have never even thought about. And if I go overseas, I know it's gonna be uh, like, a way better what did they do certain things back and i'm like hi i'm going to south africa next week like on safari like any good you know mosquito repellent and she's like girl you want anti-malarials and then i get bold with it right i go in there you know on another occasion and i'm like 
I'm back, you know. I'm, I'm waiting for my birth control, like, to come from the U.S. Like, it's taken a while, prescriptions and doctors and all that. And she literally threw the birth control at me. Amazing. Bro, wait, so why is it, currently living wait, so why is it, why is it like that over here? Why do you, why do they have a such thing as over-the-counter drugs and prescription drugs and whatnot? Like, why is that even, and that's the thing, too, if people say, oh, Americans abuse drugs and whatnot, so? Like, I never understood locking people up for what? It's deeper. It's, I know what it is. I know why America is probably like, whatever. It's because of the, the, the prisons over here, the jails. The private prisons, bro, the private prisons, they mess everything up because the private prisons, they need money. And then that's the domino effect to doing the things that they need to do to get more money. You know what I'm saying? You need people in those prisons. I mean, honestly, investing in the prison might be the best thing to do. That sounds messed up, but it might be a good cash cow, bro, because being in America, you're going to get them prisons filled up for sure. Definitely, like, it's tragic, Abroad, bro. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed you Just one? If this tells you anything, I was only supposed to be abroad for a year. I'm on year 10. Wow. Yeah. Essentially, what I learned was me living, traveling, and working around the world was easier and cheaper than me just living in the U.S. So why would I go back to the U.S. to live and spend more when I can travel and live in other countries and spend less? Make it make sense. Time that made you realize that America really messed you up. They're not saying that, or the only girl that said something was the black girl about the drugs. Oh, they not. Everybody else is not saying nothing. She, like she didn't really say nothing. Like how do I just know that it's cheaper to do that? She didn't have no examples or nothing. I'm not seeing nothing that's waking so me up, bro. So I spent about four years in Berlin, Germany, working in advertising. And coming from New York, where my first eight years in the industry, I just, you know, you don't take vacation. You just don't really do that. Well, I had to have a sit down with the CEO of my company and the head of HR where they took my laptop and took my work phone and told me I could not come back to the office for three weeks because I had to use my vacation time. They were afraid that I was going to sue the company for not being allowed to take my vacation time. So they made sure that I literally could not work. Imagine that happening in the U.S. Someone literally taking your computer and your work phone away and say, go, come back in three weeks. Enjoy your vacation. Honestly, Europe has a lot going for it that I wish Americans would. That's not crazy, bro, because over here in the military, you get days like you accumulate you accumulate days off right and if you reach a certain like it's a certain like they make you take your time off bro that's the same thing over here in america too man that's the same thing over here he's in the military what is i'm not seeing nothing that's like mind-blowing man really i'm not seeing nothing that's crazy i was working as a teacher in south korea and a lot of students actually have these little box cutters to cut stuff i was kind of concerned that these were allowed in school because i was scared that people were going to stab each other what is one time that now that is that America really now that is crazy that is crazy okay why is it that the kids in America will end up stabbing each other see that leads to another question why is it that the kids in America like what is happening in those ages to where like those times between going home and coming to school and being around other kids to where kids in America will end up stabbing each other and the kids over there in Korea are not like they're not stabbing each other what is like that that leads to another up like other questions, man. That was a not see now that was a good one. Really messed you up. So just for a little context, I live in Latvia now, but when this happened to me, I was working in the UK as a bartender. And my coworkers and I were talking about gun violence in the US and they were kind of making jokes like, Oh, I'm surprised you graduated and you didn't get shot first and, and stuff like that. And I guess I was trying to defend it, so I was saying, you know, you know, it's not as bad as the news makes it seem. You know, I only know one school that had an active shooter and had to go into too. lockdown. And, you know, for me, I only had one gun threat in high school, and it was just a threat, and one when I was in elementary school. I, I think I done had, like, two. Two. I see two schools. I mean, I've not seen, but I know personally two schools. Two schools. One school I went to and I left and later that year, um, it was all over the news too. It was in Florida, like Broward County, man. 
and actually no, it was a school I went to. It was a school that was like around the corner from the school I was going to. And um, the other situation she was talking about like two. Through school. And then my coworkers kind of looked at me like, you what? Like that's crazy. And, and, and you think that's normal. And I was like, yeah, it's not that's even crazy, that. Ain't it? That's crazy, Andy. That's crazy. Currently living abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed? I'm a U.S. citizen currently living in Costa. I'm not gonna lie. I love this topic. I love this topic because I'm getting out of America. I'm getting out of here just to try it. Like I would be disappointed in myself if I make it to age 50, 60, and I don't ever live nowhere else other than America. Like that's. T Bro, America, I know I know other countries is like a whole nother world, bro. It's a whole nother reality, man. Costa Rica. We have to be careful about the use of the word American since the Americas are continents. Anyway, I have so many examples of how the US fucked me up. Alright, tell me, let me know. Florida. We got to Costa Rica the second week in November. Obviously still deep in the throes in the US with COVID. And coming from Florida where there's so many anti-maskers in COVID deniers. It was surreal to go to these establishments here where everyone's following the Ministry of Health's rules. There's hand washing stations outside of every establishment. There are people taking your temperature to go into grocery stores and certain restaurants. People are giving you distance. Everyone is compliant with masks. And I found myself so defensively postured, ready to argue because I had gotten into so many arguments in Florida with anti-maskers and COVID deniers. It's amazing when people don't politicize a virus. Now, I'm not going to lie. That just makes Costa Rica sound... Look, I see what she's saying, but that makes Costa Rica sound like a whole bunch of, like, like sheep. You know what I'm saying? It makes them sound like they just lay down and just do as they're told. Um, I like America because, bro, you're not just going to tell Americans what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like that about America. Like, you're not just going to tell us what to do, no matter if they white or black, Hispanic, Asian, whatever. Like, unless, bro, people were still partying during the corona thing going on. I, I went to a couple parties during this corona thing, pandemic. Like, bro, America is just hard-headed, bro. I, I, I like that. I like it here. Like, we're not just, like, I. that's what I'm saying. I like that. People in Florida, I was born in Florida. I was born in Florida. People in Florida didn't want to wear a mask, so they're not going to wear a mask. You're not going to tell them what to do. Is that, is that simple. Hey, shout out to all the Floridians, man. I'm proud of y'all that did that. That's, 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 that's good. Abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America really that's good, messed honestly. you up? 2008 or 9, 20 years old, Munich, Germany. City passes the vibe check, no doubt. And But I didn't have anyone with me. And I'm trying to get cigarettes from a machine. My ID doesn't work. A cop shouts from across the street. He's on his way to me. Hey, you, sir. Is there anything I can help you with? And immediately I was, no, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm getting out of here anyway. And I keep it moving. And he's like, no, 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 hey, you. And I keep keep it pushing. Like, hey, you? No, nah, get the fuck out of here. And the next cop stops me, and I immediately drop everything that's in my hands as I take my hands out of my pockets so I don't get shot. And so he ends up buying me a pack of cigarettes, bringing me to the nearest bar, explaining to me that they go to four years of college to do this, get paid $50,000 a year more than our cops, they no now nah, this now nah, this is the best thing I heard. They go four years of college to be a cop. They go four years of college. Saying to me that they go to four years of college to do this, get paid fifty thousand dollars a year more than our cops, and and that probably relieves so much stress on them. They probably get so much more of a peace of mind. If the police gets paid a lot more money, one of two things gonna happen. They either gonna get more cockier more arrogant and more like stuck up or they're gonna be more humble they're gonna be more humble and more relaxed god damn they see now that's a minute now that's the best news i done heard they go to school for four years to be a cop that sounds sounds about right sounds about right bought me a drink what is one time that made that you was, that was, that i like that one really messed you up when i lived in paris my period Realize that America really messed you up. When I lived in Paris, 
My period changed because、um, there wasn't as much hormones in the food. If you live abroad for any length of time, your period will also become different over time and revert when you return. Oh my, I'm just saying, like, come on, man. Before you get on camera, like, at least look presentable or something, bro. I'm not trying to be rude at all. I'm not trying to be mean. But, like, I just, bro, ugh. I just gotta say, like, ugh. I got to. And I don't like talking about people at all, man, because there's certain things you just can't change. But she can change, though. She can change. Like, come on, man. American currently living abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America that really messed you up?、So、and that didn't. Okay, now, her being on camera makes the last. Okay, now this made up for the last girl that was on. The last lady that was on the camera.、Um, yes, 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 yes. I know that's not even the topic of the video, but what was I saying? Oh, the last lady, bro. That, has, that, doesn't shit on the, that doesn't make America look bad. This is about how America really messed you up. Your period getting changed didn't mess you up or make it any better. That has nothing to do with. So for me, it was a few different times all while I was living in Australia. One time with the very、okay. m u c h things that we have here in the States,、um, my boss came to me and he was like, Are you okay? How are you feeling? Do you need some time off? And I Bro, I never like really, I never talked to a girl that had like a piercing right here in between their like breasts right here. I never really, I never seen too many of those in person. I, I honestly only seen them on the internet, man. Every girl I talk to or seen the person, I never see like nothing right here. That's, I only see these online. And I was like, why? And he was like, because I heard about the shooting that happened back in the States. I had to sit there and have an honest moment. What did they, what did they ask her? about the shooting. Do you need some time off? And I was like, why? And he was like, because I heard about the shooting that happened back in the States. I had to sit there and have an honest moment with my. Damn, so they like, so they actually genuinely care about stuff like that when shootings happen. So. As Americans, are y'all saying that we are like desensitized to, even if you not, if, even if you never been to actual shooting, you hear about shooting so much and you see them on video so much that you damn near, that it doesn't, it's nothing new almost to hear about it. You know what I'm saying? And whenever you go outside, you see and hear about it so much that especially if you're in like a rough area, You gotta, you gotta know what's going on around you, man, because you don't know who has problems with who and anything can happen, bro. Like, I was just, man, I hate, I'm not gonna lie, I hate、um, riding around like if I'm ever with somebody and I'm not driving because, especially if it's like a, a female that's driving, because they do certain things that I just wouldn't do, man. Like, like just,、uh, it was like dark, it was, bro, I was with, I was with this girl, right? And it was dark outside, and she had no tents on her car. And we was like, it was in some parking lot, bro, but, like, it, but it was in a, some apartments, bro. And she was just sitting there. She was sitting there for like taking her sweet time to drive and pull off. And people kept, and it's no tents in the car. I, you know, it's dark outside. It wasn't no streetlights for real. And people keep walking past and whatnot. I'm, I'm damn near paranoid and stuff, bro. She's just sitting there. Like, bro, anything can happen. Like, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's go, bro. Myself and him to realize that I I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm pretty much saying, like, you never know, man. You never know, especially all these guns out here, man. You gotta just, you cannot just be sitting in the car, especially with no tents somewhere that you don't even know where you're at. You cannot just do that, man. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. Because if anything happens, you might be, you might be, you might be stuck somewhere, man. Build up. A numbness to all the shootings because they happen all the time. So that sucked. Number two, I have horrific cramps. It sounds, bro, honestly it, honestly, it seems weird to even think about like shootings is not happening or like to live somewhere, like to live in a country and it'd be like not normal to even hear about shootings going on in a different state or miles away or in a city away or whatnot. That, sound, that, seems, that seems weird, but I guess that's normal in other places. Like, that would probably bring me so much of a Peace of mind to live somewhere knowing that, all right, nobody over here has any guns. Like, that's perfectly fine. Man, New Zealand, here I come, man. They make me pass out. I throw up. I've been in the emergency room I don't know how many times at this point. It's just how it's been. 
I fought against it, but I finally had my roommate take me to the emergency room, and my total was $100 when I left. As $100? On a working holiday visa. A hundred dollars? Do y'all understand how crazy that is? A hundred dollars? Bro, I'm in the military. Thankfully, I got the VA benefit, so I'm not going to have to really pay too much because I'm good for the rest of my life. Bro, these mili bro, these hospital bills, like these bills, bro, this shit is no joke. What did she say she had helped with? She, she got helped with what exactly? She had who? I always had... I'm, I'm, I always have. They make me pass out. I throw up. I've been in the emergency room. I don't know how many times at this point. It's just how it's been. I fought against it, but I finally had my roommate take me to the emergency room, and my total was a hundred. I'm willing to bet in America that probably would be like four hundred dollars. When I left, four hundred dollars. As someone who was only on a working holiday visa, and not a two thousand dollar bill like it would have been in the states. In Honestly, I haven't been to the emergency room and hospitals that much to know about how crazy those bills is but i know those bills is they up there man it's not cheap i know it's not cheap that's why they always tell you have some money put away emergency funds man because i know that's stuff currently living abroad man. what is one time that made you realize that america really messed you up I first started school and asked them when we have our first training for i've seen this guy before asked me what I seen this guy before because he was talking about how america is nothing but a whole bunch of parking lots and concrete and I remember that TikTok, and that opened my eyes a lot. He was talking about how over there, with he, I think he's from the UK. In the UK, it's a whole bunch of sidewalks and people walking around, and it's a lot. And he was saying in America, it's nothing but buildings and then a big-ass parking lot and concrete and a tiny sidewalk and a whole bunch of cars. And I really didn't realize that until he said it. Like, damn, that is like that, bro. Like, living in certain cities, you can't live there without a car. Like, you can't just walk around unless you in somewhere like New York, San Francisco, a big city and whatnot. Unless you want to be walking, bro. I, I used to have to walk, like, I used to walk far as hell, man. I used to walk so far sometimes before I had a car. I used to walk far. Is that? I walked into a supermarket and I was confused as to why there weren't any guns on the shelves. When I went on a walk with my friends, Wait, what happened? To walk and asked them when we ever a two thousand dollar bill like it would have been in the states. In currently living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? I first started school and asked them when we have our first training for school shootings, and they asked me, "What is that?" I walked into a supermarket and I was confused as to why there weren't any guns on the shelves. When I went on a walk with my friends and they wanted to walk over someone's farm because it was a shortcut, and I said I didn't want to go because I was afraid of getting shot, and they looked at me like I was crazy. When I saw police cars driving up and I realized that nobody besides me was scared shitless. When I watch political talk shows and they're actually having a conversation and discussing an actual topic instead of talking over each other and insulting each other. When I noticed that- Uh, this not, this not the same guy I was talking about earlier. He's not from the UK, my fault. He looked like, he looked like him though. He looked just like him, man. Nobody besides me was scared shitless. When I watch political talk shows and they're actually having a conversation and discussing an actual topic instead of talking over each other and insulting each other. When I noticed that over here nudity and sexual expression was seen as natural and normal while violence is talked down upon, when in the States violence is everywhere and nudity and sexuality are taboo. Wow. If you're an American currently that living sounds, abroad, what- That sounds like, that sounds like the place to be. I would love to be somewhere where violence is talked down upon and nudity and sexuality is talked like highly of. I would love that reality. Where is, where is that at? That sounds like somewhere nice to be. I don't like how violence is very like idolized over here in America, man. I, I don't like that, bro. Especially being black, bro, and a whole bunch of people my age and shit, a whole bunch of niggas in general. Like that's all they be giving their attention to, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all they like. If you not super violent and tough and shit, you damn near, you know what I'm saying? Invisible, bro, and that's, and that's crazy. Cause that don't even get you no money for real, man. Unless you use it to get you money, like you doing street fights or something. And you got like a YouTube channel doing, but let's be serious though. Who really doing that? You know what I mean? It's crazy. What is one time that made you realize that America really- Oh man, I got so many stories. As you may know, I'm an American living in Italy and there have been so many times I'm thinking, oh my God, America is so messed up. For real? Most recently is when I gave birth to my daughter. So I decided to give birth to my daughter here in Italy and basically before you give birth they recommend that you meet up with an anesthesiologist. Um, even if you don't want the epidural beforehand they recommend you do so just in case like an emergency you really want one or etc. Um, comunque, um, 
So I didn't even end up getting that Bordeaux, but I had to pay for the meeting and I'm thinking, oh no, how much is this meeting gonna cost? It was 30 euros. 30 euros is the equivalent of maybe, let's say like $40. And also too, I stayed in the hospital for three days. Damn, so it must be easy for y'all to like save y'all money and stack y'all money. Man, that don't even sound, bro, $40? A meeting with somebody about a pregnancy does not sound like $40 in America, man. Got completely taken care of, and I didn't pay a cent. Really? A cent. American that is living abroad. No, no. What is one time that no, major... that is a good one, too. Now, that's a big difference. That is crazy. Realize that America really messed you up. So I'm an American, and I live in Norway right now. And one time I was going to help my friend with this project that she had. And this girl was still in high school. And so she was like, yeah, just come to my high school. You can help me out, yada, yada, yada. I was like, great. Where do I have to sign in when I get there? Do I need to wear a visitor's badge? Who do I talk to? What should I tell the front desk lady? She was like, what are you talking what? about? Just walk in and I'll meet you at my classroom. What? That's how you could just go in through high school? There's no problem? And my mind was blown. I was like, I can just walk into your school? Like, no, aren't they gonna call the police? Aren't they gonna- Does any schools overseas have metal, te metal detectives before you gotta go into school? I, I, work with, I work with somebody that's from New York. He from Brooklyn, man. And he was saying how in his school that they had metal detectives in their school, man. They had metal, now me personally, I never went to a school that had metal detectors, but I know it's common in certain cities and certain areas in America. It's especially in a lot of bad places. So do y'all have stuff like that overseas? If you're from overseas, anywhere in your country, do y'all have that at all? Let me know. But I mean, I, it, honestly, I feel like you could do this in America too. Just walk into a school and just look like you're a student or something. You could probably- Send out an intruder alert. Like I can't just walk into your high school and just walk straight But to I wouldn't, classroom. yeah, I wouldn't. No. It doesn't sound like something that you could just, just do. how messed up it is that yeah. American high schoolers are like security prisons that's crazy though so they have no such thing as a visitor's pass whatsoever damn that's bro that's so crazy it seems so it seems so normal though man it seems so normal it seems so normal american currently living damn, abroad that seemed... what is one time that made you realize that america really messed you up so i live in romania yeah. and i feel like the most astonishing thing to me when i moved here was how easy it is to find someone to go out with to go out and have drinks with to go out and have dinner that sounds like the place to be oh my god that sounds like the place to be that sounds like the place to be that sounds like the place to be i think romania has like no black people though right romania is nothing but romanians and some other i was watching andrew tate y'all might know who andrew tate is it was he was talking about how Romania has Romanians and some people that they beef with, I guess they got beef with some other type of people and there's nothing but them over there in Romania. With any given day, somebody wants to go out. Whereas in the US, I feel like we're all so stressed out and miserable Hell that yeah. we just want to stay home. It's that American dream, bro. Like everybody's so focused on getting the White House and picket fence, man. Not literally that, but like getting rich. I think that's that American dream for you, man. I think that's probably what it is. Other countries might not have that shit. That's weird how y'all don't have American, American dreams, man. You're currently living abroad. What is one like, probably because it's not realize that America really that wanted over there. I don't know. So I live in Estonia now. And I remember the first year that I moved here, it was around the beginning of December. And I remember hearing, like, gunshots. Like, really loud gunshots. Like, in a lot of them. Yeah. So me... Being from Brooklyn, I immediately think that there's some crazy shootout going on outside. Yeah. So I go and I look out the window and sure enough, it's fireworks. Fireworks are kind of sort of illegal in New York City. So I was used to just automatically assuming that it was gunshots. Yeah, that's kind of when I realized that America's kind of messed up. <laughs> What is one time that made you realize that America That wasn't bad, it's just, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't bad, bro. Really that wasn't messed crazy. you up. So when I was a teenager, I, I went out of the country saying, one though. time to go on vacation to the Bahamas and we were staying at this resort and shit happened. 
I caught a virus that was going around the resort and then I had an allergic reaction to the virus and I couldn't really breathe. Uh, but the on-site paramedic had already left for the day. So the hotel concierge took us to the hospital in his van and just told us to call when we were ready to head back. So we go to the hospital, I get treated. And as we're leaving, my mom tries to give them her insurance card and she's telling them like, I'm so sorry, we've never been out of the country before. I don't know how to do this. They told her like, oh no, you just keep that. We don't take insurance here. And the look on my mom's face was terrified, like, oh my god, we're going to have to sell our house, terrified. This was when they realized we were Americans, and they were like, oh no, no, don't panic, you must be American, we have universal health care here, you just need to pick up your medicine in the lobby, you're fine. The medicine was $8, and they gave me a... Bro, that seems crazy, man. How do they make money? Like, how do they profit then, man? That seems so crazy, man. God damn, we over here getting ripped off. No, to give to the airline to get back into my own country. I was walking to class and this guy came up to me and he was like, hey, Elena. Um, and I was like, what's up? And he was like, you know those people who are like really pretty from far away, but then you get up close and they're really ugly? Yeah, you're mm -hmm. one of those people. <laughs> I always be hearing those stories, bro, but I don't know. I really just don't be believing like stories like that, especially from girls, bro. Girls tend to tell stories in certain ways that if you was to be there and see it and then hear the story that they tell afterwards, it's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he, I don't know, he probably like said it in a flirty way or something. He, I don't know, man. You got to really just listen to, bro, when it comes to humans and telling stories, you got to know how to read between the lines and understand that almost every human on this planet besides me. I think I'm, besides me and like two other people that I know, everybody else in the world, I truly believe when they tell, unless I just don't know me, I don't know, at least the people I know, I truly believe that people tell stories like so one-sided, like people tell stories that make themselves just sound, you know what I'm saying, like the victim or better, like a lot of people do that, man. I've been with people and then next day telling a story about, and I was there, seeing it. And I hear the story and it's a dead lie. Or it added me to the lie. I just never been I never been comfortable like lying like that. Like knowing that you lying to other people. Like you yourself know that you lying. Anyway, man. But look, that was Americans Living Abroad. Man, let me know what I should watch next. Honestly, that mm, I mean that was crazy, but it wasn't like crazy, crazy, man. It I understand. But really, America is not that bad. Only thing that's really bad over here is probably all of the shootings. That's honestly bad. That's probably it, man. Other than that, you got to deal with it, man. Just you got to toughen up, bro. Like if you, if it's too expensive over here, make more money. You know what I'm saying? You got to get your priorities straight. I like the fact that it's so hard over here. They ripping us off. That's good. Because that means if you can make it over here, you can make it anywhere. With all of the, how tough it is, how messed up it is. If you can make it and over here. You can do it anywhere. So I like it. I like the fact that America is the most hated, the most shitted on. I love it. You know what I mean? So America, you know what I'm saying? You got to, because if you gonna like the, if you like the good parts about America, you have to like the bad parts, bro. You have to. You got to take the good with the bad. If you're in the stock market and you like the green days, you got to like the red days too. You got to. But Make sure y'all niggas like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what I should watch next. I'm out. Let's get it, man. We're gone, bro. 2 a.m. ND. We out. Let's get it, man.